In this video we are going to discuss about inverse discrete Fourier transform. So this is inverse discrete Fourier transform. What is thus is if you are given with x of k that is frequency domain it changes into time domain. So this is the thing that inverse discrete Fourier transform does. If you have given with the frequency domain component frequency domain it converts into time domain. This is your x of n is time domain. So this everyone knows right. So this is inverse discrete Fourier transform. So the formula for inverse discrete Fourier transform goes as x of n is equals to 1 by n summation of n is equals to 0 to n minus 1 x of k will come over here x of k into e raised to j 2 pi n k upon n this is the formula to calculate the inverse discrete Fourier transform okay IDFT short form is this and in you have again the two methods to solve the second is matrix method in matrix method also you have the formula x of n is equals to 1 by n omega n star into x of k this is the formula to calculate the matrix method to calculate the numerical with matrix method now what is omega n star omega n star in DFT, you know omega n we used to calculate to find the matrix method. Similarly, in IDFT, you have omega n star. That means you will just have the complex conjugate of omega n. Complex conjugate. This is nothing but the complex conjugate of omega conjugate of omega n. Now, what is complex conjugate? Complex conjugate is nothing but if you have, suppose, uh, if you have 6 plus j5 okay if you have example this is 6 plus j5 in complex conjugate what you will do is i will not change the sign of the real part i will only change the sign of the imaginary part okay so here is 6 minus j5 only imaginary part sign i will change so you know the twiddle factor for example i am i will just tell you you know the twiddle factor of omega 4 So this you remember this is the twiddle factor of omega 4. Now what is omega 4 star that will use in inverse discrete Fourier transform that is IDFT. So the IDFT matrix I am just drawing it over here. Once will not have any changes because it is a real part. In place of J I will write positive J. I am changing the sign of the imaginary part only. Remember this. Y minus will will not get changed so i will write here minus one and j will have sign change so minus j will, i will write it now again you can see minus one i will not change the sign of this only the j term that is imaginary i will change the sign minus j here you have plus j so this is omega four star matrix okay this is uh, this matrix is used to calculate the discrete Fourier transform and this matrix is used to calculate the inverse discrete Fourier transform. If you use this particular matrix and then multiply it with x of k, so this multiply it with x of k and in this formula 1 by n, n is the number of sequence, then you will have your matrix method ready. So this was all for your inverse discrete Fourier transform. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such videos.